processes too. Take calcium, for instance. There's this delicate balance of calcium between the mitochondria and another cell part, the endoplasmic reticulum, or ER. It's vital for keeping the cell stable. If that gets disrupted, it can hinder ATP production and even push the cell towards death. Some research even shows high mitochondrial ROS can lead to too much calcium building up in the mitochondria, contributing to the aging of those crucial dermal papilla cells that support hair growth. And what's truly fascinating, really, is that mitochondria aren't just the battery pack. They're also like a central switchboard for these complex communication networks, networks that literally dictate your hair's lifespan and health. They regulate several key signaling pathways, essential for hair follicle health. For instance, um, they influence processes protecting hair follicle stem cells from inflammation damage. We see this with the CERT-T1 pathway. When CERT-T1 isn't working right, it can lead to mitochondrial issues and inflammatory stress. We see this particularly in common conditions like androgenetic alopecia, or AGA. They also manage cell growth.